I'm here to talk about Dynamics 365 Sales. Dynamics 365 Sales is an application that helps organisations of all sizes efficiently and effectively manage their sales workloads. It allows those organisations to drive towards outcomes, successful sales outcomes, through enabling sellers to work with leads and opportunities, key contacts and key stakeholders um, in their organisation pipeline to really drive new business and revenue for their organisation. Dynamics 365 Sales is part of the wider Dynamics 365 family and it sits on top of the common data service. Crucially, this means that those organisations that also want to use the platform to perform customer service tasks or marketing can do so alongside sales to manage the end-to-end -end customer journey all with a single customer record, a single view of the customer. Dynamics 365 Sales provides a wide range of functionality. At its core, it allows sellers to work with key contacts and accounts on opportunities and manage those interactions with those stakeholders. It allows sellers to work with leads and opportunity records, really shaping opportunities and understanding the needs of the customers. The other key thing that Dynamics 365 Sales does is allows organisations to implement their own sales processes, their own business processes inside the application. That will then allow the organisation to guide their sellers through a process, ensuring consistency of approach and quality. And fundamentally, the application is designed to help sellers focus on the right opportunities and the right leads at the right time to work towards successful outcomes. Dynamics 365 sales can enable business impact in a number of ways. It can help organisations to shorten the sales cycle. It can also help organisations to increase revenue at the same time as also improving win rates for deals that they're involved in. The other aspect of the platform that really drives some impact is that it can reduce administrative burden upon sellers. So this helps organisations to really become more efficient, more process efficient at the same time as increasing revenue. Dynamics 365 sales can be accessed via a browser on laptop and desktop devices. It can also be accessed from other Microsoft products such as Outlook and Microsoft Teams, and this is really one of the key strengths of the platform. Finally, there are native versions of the mobile application for both iOS and Android, meaning that users can get access to Dynamics 365 when they're out of the office. The application uses something called the Unified User Interface, which means that users get a consistent look and feel, a consistent experience, whether they're using it on a laptop or a mobile device. When users first access Dynamics 365 sales, they're presented with a dashboard. Dashboards are a great way of highlighting key information to users and I recommend that users start their day on a dashboard. Users can access multiple dashboards and even create their own. But out of the box here, I can see the Sales Activity Social Dashboard. This is showing me a number of things, such as my sales pipeline, my top open opportunities, and a list of my activities. It also shows me something called the Relationship Assistant. The Relationship Assistant uses embedded intelligence to highlight key events such as opportunities closing soon or an upcoming meeting. One of the other things that users can do with dashboards is drill down into the information further. So here I can select the sales pipeline for my open opportunities and choose to expand this to get a better view. I can drill down further into the data so let's say I'm interested in opportunities at the top of my funnel in the qualify stage. I can click on this stage and I can choose to drill down by another factor, another field. So if I'm particularly interested in perhaps estimated close date, I can say that I want to drill down into opportunities at the qualify stage, but take a view of them by estimated close date. So when I do this, I can then click to select 
and it shows me my pipeline values for opportunities closing in January and February of 2020. If I want to get even more detail, I can come up here and click on view records and then Dynamics will show me the underlying data that sits behind this chart. Again, if I want to filter down and say only view opportunities that are due to close in January 2020, I can click on the chart here and it filters down my opportunity data over on the right hand side. So moving on from dashboards, users can use the left hand side of Dynamics 365 sales to navigate to other record types and other areas of the system that they might be interested in. Users can work with key record types such as accounts, contacts, leads and opportunities. And there are also other types of records such as quotes, invoices, sales literature that users can choose to work with. If I click on contacts over here, I'll be presented with a list of records, a list of data. In this case, it's a list of contacts that I own that are my active contacts. And I can look through this view and I can further filter the views if I need to as well. I can open up a contact record by clicking on it. So here I have a record for Alan Roberts and I can click on his name here to open up his record. Alan's record and indeed any contact record is made up of a number of key areas. On the left hand side here I can see Alan's contact information. So phone numbers, email addresses, physical addresses and there's also Bing Maps integration showing the customers address. Over on the right hand side once again I have the relationship assistant again trying to show me some key information that maybe I should be aware of or maybe I've missed and I can also see on the right hand side here there's a recent opportunity a recent open opportunity that Alan has been involved in. In the center of the screen I can see a timeline of activities between my organization and Alan. This timeline will show me any emails, phone calls, opportunities or tasks that have been recorded for Alan. The timeline allows me to do a number of things. I can create a new activity. So let's say I need to log an inbound phone call from Alan. I can click on phone call here and Dynamics 365 gives me a quick create form over on the right hand side to log the call. So I can choose the direction is incoming because Alan contacted us and record a subject here. And I can also choose some additional description, um, the duration of the call and um, the actual time of the call if I wish, but I'm just going to save and close here. At which point the activity gets added to the timeline. The timeline is really critical. It's a critical part of Dynamics 365, and it's something that appears on most records. So if, for example, we navigate from Alan's record up onto the record for the company he works for, Vintas Engineering, we can see here that Vintas also has a timeline, and this is really consolidating any activities that have been recorded for any employee Vintas. So within this timeline, we'll see activities here that relate to Alan, but also to any other employee of Vintas Engineering. Working with existing accounts and contacts is a key part of Dynamics 365 sales, but we also want to be able to record and manage new potential customers. And the way that we do this is through leads. So if I click on leads here on the left hand side, I can see a view of my current open leads. Now you can think of leads as someone with whom you have no prior relationship, but who may represent an opportunity for the same. So what I can do from this view is I can click on new and I can start to capture some information about somebody I met at a conference. So I can fill in information such as what they're interested in, person, some of their contact details if I have them, and the company that they work for. And 
and I can choose to, to save the record at this point. The lead record also allows me to capture some additional information. If I click on the details tab here, I can see that I can capture some information around the purchase process um, for this particular this particular lead. So this person might have indicated that um, they're interested in buying some products from us, but ultimately it will come down to a committee decision and they're interested in purchasing in the next quarter. Now I can continue to work with this lead until it's qualified as being a real opportunity. So in working with the lead, I can continue to, to add appointments and phone calls. So I might have further qualifying phone calls with this individual um, before this becomes real and it becomes a real opportunity. You'll notice that across the top of this lead record, there's what appears to be a number of stages. This is a business process flow and it's designed to guide users through the key stages of a process. Now, what's crucial here is that organisations can tailor these business process flows to their own processes, to their own sales processes. So if I click on the qualify stage for this out of the box process, I can see that it's looking for me to fill in a number of key pieces of information at this point. We've already captured the purchase time frame and the purchase process. It's also looking for things like estimated budget and it suggests a few other fields that I might want to fill in at this point. Now, when I'm ready and I feel that there is a genuine opportunity that exists for this lead, I can go ahead and qualify the lead up here on the ribbon bar. And when I qualify a lead, Dynamics 365 does a number of things. It will go and create a contact record for Karen Shaw. It will go ahead and create an account record for the organisation that Karen works for, Core Distribution. And it creates an opportunity record that we're seeing on the screen here. Now it carries through some of the key information that we captured on the lead, such as the, the budget amount and purchase process, and that kind of information. And it also moves me along in the process. You'll see here on our business process flow that we've moved from the qualify stage now into the develop stage. And this stage itself has a number of other key fields and key pieces of information that we now want the users to capture as part of working with this opportunity. One of those things is to identify any potential stakeholders and any potential competitors. So we can come down here and confirm that we have Karen Shaw as a stakeholder and maybe we want to change her role to a decision maker. And perhaps if we're aware of some competitors in this opportunity as well, we can choose to, to add them. So we can add Alpha Consulting as a competitor so that really we can start to capture uh, and manage the competitive landscape of these opportunities. Now, once I have a sense of the actual product that the customer is interested in for this opportunity, I can start to add it as a line item. So if I click on add product here, I can search across my product catalog for a 3D printer that the customer has expressed they're interested in. So I can choose this and specify my quantity. We can see here that the price per unit has pre-populated because we configured this within the product catalog in Dynamics and we can save this line to add it to the opportunity. And once we go ahead and start adding these product line items, you'll see up here that the estimated revenue of this opportunity is calculated for you. One of the other interesting things that Dynamics 365 will do for you is provide some suggestions to the user. So based upon the fact we've selected a particular 3D printer, for this customer. Dynamics 365 also suggests that there's an accessory that is particularly linked to this product. And it also suggests an upsell product as well. Now, 
as a salesperson, I can go ahead and add these to the opportunity and have the discussion with the customers to whether they want to purchase additional accessories or whether they want to upgrade to a high specification of printer. But for now, I'm going to leave in the originally selected printer and I'm going to go on and continue to have activity and discussion with the customer over this potential opportunity. One of the other strengths of Dynamics 365 sales is that being a Microsoft product, it's tightly integrated to other Microsoft products such as Outlook. So if I navigate into Outlook here, I can see that I have an email from Karen who's requesting some further information about the printers that we're discussing as part of our opportunity. Now, within Outlook here, either within the Outlook web client or within Outlook, Outlook desktop, I can click on Dynamics 365 here, and it's going to open up um, the Dynamics 365 application over on the right-hand side of Outlook. So here it shows me a couple of things at a glance. It knows who the sender is of this email. We can see that this is from Karen Shaw. We can see a little bit of information about Karen. We can see the company that she works for, but also that there's an open opportunity for Karen as well. Now, what we can do at this stage is we can choose to promote this email up into Dynamics 365. We can track the email into Dynamics 365 so that this activity is recorded and represented on our opportunity record. We can do so by clicking on this set regarding link here. We'll notice that tracking is now in progress and that this email has successfully been tracked to Dynamics 365. If we now go ahead and navigate back to the opportunity in Dynamics 365, we can see here the email that we've just tracked from Outlook. And really the benefit of doing this is making sure that we have an opportunity record that captures all of the activity and that anybody else dealing with this opportunity, anybody else within our organisation can see all of the activity that is occurring and they're fully aware of any emails that ordinarily would just sit inside the outlook of one particular user. Another available integration with Dynamics 365 is integration with SharePoint. So Dynamics 365 integrates with SharePoint natively to allow you to store documents, record documents that are, perhaps have been shared with customers as part of an opportunity. So I can click on documents here and I can see that we've potentially shared some information about licensing for a product. And this allows me to go ahead and do a number of things that I would ordinarily be able to do in SharePoint. So upload new documents, create new documents. And I can also use OneDrive Business to store documents in here as well. Perhaps if I want to record a document in Dynamics, but restrict who within my organization and see that document. Hopefully through this video, we've given you a good overview of the Dynamics 365 sales application. We've seen how it can help sellers to work with their accounts and contacts to manage those relationships, but also how sellers can get greater insight into their sales pipelines and really drive positive outcomes for their organization.